Yo, what's good guys, it's Steven. I'm back on the channel with another video. And in today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys how I like to use hardware in my samples. And this could be anything from like synths to pedals. So yeah, I'm gonna be pretty much going over all of the hardware gear that I currently own. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make samples in my DAW. So now I'm on my phone here. Here's what my setup currently looks like. So first things first, here's the Moog Matriarch. This is pretty much my synth for any like experimental sounds like leads, basses. And then next up we have the Prophet 8 here. This is pretty much the synth that I go to for any sort of like keys, pads. And then moving on to the pedals. This right here is the Brainwaves. It's a super fire pitch shifter. This is my Chase Bliss mood pedal. It's a super fire like textural granular delay reverb it does a lot of shit actually this is the fairfield circuitry shallow water in my opinion this is like the best lo-fi detune vintage sounding pedal it can really make your shit sound old and then lastly this is my neo flanger this is pretty much just like an old vintage sounding flanger that can be super fire on like guitar or synths anything pretty much now that you guys have seen all the synths that i own now i'm going to show you guys how i actually end up using them so first things first here's a sample that i actually made today i'm going to play it for you guys just so you guys get the idea and this sample is 99% hardware. So I pretty much just use all of my stuff on it. So as you guys can tell, it definitely sounds like vintage. It's kind of like a darker styled sample. And now I'm just gonna show you guys my process from start to finish when I'm using all my hardware. So a cool technique that I like to use that I just started using recently is a technique I learned from Nick D. Pretty much what he does is he just records all of his synths pretty much into just like a random idea and it's just full of like cool sounds. There's not too many like solid foundations to the sample, but it's just like a bunch of cool textures that he got out of his synths. And so pretty much I'll just show you one by one the ideas I Played out. So first things first, I started with this key for my profit. And pretty much this is just a profit key that I ran through some brain waves, the mood, and the shallow water, just to give it like a cool watery texture. I actually added a good amount of effects to this. Just to go over a couple of them, I added some distortion from this audio things plugin called Valves. And then what really gives the sound a cool texture is this fog convolver, which is also from audio thing. And I just chose this preset called the Piezo one, which makes it sound kind of watery. And then once I had that, I pretty much just went to the Prophet 08 again, and this time I chose a bass sound, and this is what it sounds like by itself. Also on the bass, I added a good amount of effects. I've been really liking this plugin from GHC called the Toop. It can make stuff sound like super vintage, and if you go into the presets, there's even presets with like dates that can go back to like super old time period. I also added the Orb, which is like a formant picture. And then next up, I went to the Prophet 08 again, and I chose this like pluck sounding synth. And I'll play you guys what it sounds like with no effects, because on this one, I did add a lot. And again, this is pretty much just me running the profit through a bunch of my pedals. This is just me running through the Chase Bliss and the Shallow Water. You can also hear kind of the distortion and the wobble that the Shallow Water gives it. And then next to go over some of the plugins that I put on here, I put this Decapitator, which is a bit crusher. And then I put this Super Fire plugin called Wires on it, which makes it sound super old. And then lastly, I put this Delay, which is kind of just like a remake of the classic like Space Delay that a lot of legendary sample makers have like Frank Dukes. And then once I had those sounds, I went into the Falcon. And this is the only sound in the whole sample that actually isn't from any of my synths and i chose this preset called the sorted bells out of the toy suite and i just played this simple counter melody and then i just added some simple effects like the megaphone this was just to give it like an old cassette sound and then i added the wires again for just some cool vintage delay and just to make it sound a little bit shittier and then once i had all of these sounds i actually made this whole original idea at 87 bpm so here's what it originally sounded like Thank you. 
And so yeah, once I had all of those sounds, pretty much the next step in my process is just to render it all out like you just saw me do. And I'll throw it into a slicer. And if you're on Logic, you'll probably use something like Serato Sample. If you're on Ableton, Ableton users know how Fire Simpler is. And if you're on FL, obviously everyone knows how Fire Fruity Slicer is. I just chopped it by one eighth and pitched it down. And I pretty much just tried to find some like cool sounds, cool textures in each of the chops and just found like a cool sounding repetitive melody that I could just loop over and over. And then once I had that, here's the chop that I came up with. So once I had that, I went into the tube again just to give it a bit more warmth. And I just EQ'd out some of like the muddiness. And then the last sound that I added was this lead from my Moog Matriarch. And as I told you guys before, the Moog is super fire for like weird lead sounds and basses. The Moog that I have is actually modular, so you have to come up with all the presets on your own. And after a little bit of time spending to make the preset, I just came up with this lead idea. And so after I had the lead, I added some more effects. I added this back mask. This is just like a cool reverse effect that you can hear. I added some more fog convolver just to give it a cool texture. And then I added this super fire plugin called speakers, which gives it like an underwater vibe, which is kind of similar to the first sound that I added. This plugin is super fire for changing the tone of your instruments. And once I had all of these, this is what the whole sample sounds like. I know some of you guys have been wondering what's on my master channel. So the first plugin that I like to add is this can opener. I just use the same preset almost every time. I just mess with the angle a little bit. The next plugin is midside matrix, which is just to give the sample like an overall boost. And then this is actually the first sample that I use this plugin on, but I think the soothe is really fire, especially if you're using hardware. There can definitely be a lot of like harsh frequencies because these instruments aren't really made for samples. So what the soothe does is it just identifies any like super harsh frequencies and it just takes them out. And then other than that i just went into the pro q3 just to do some more removing of harsh frequencies and so yeah that's pretty much it for the video also i would definitely advise any of you guys to go out and cop some hardware it definitely doesn't have to be some like crazy thousand dollar two thousand dollar piece of equipment making music with like real instruments and stuff that you can physically touch just makes the whole experience better and makes you want to just keep doing it so yeah that's it for the tutorial if you guys learned something be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on social media at steam schaefer underscore instagram also if you guys are looking for more samples like these be sure to go check out my drumify there will be a link in the description there's also more types of kits like portal banks one shots all that so yeah that's it for the video i'll see you guys in the next one i'm uploading every thursday on the split my channel so yeah peace out